little more probably for the reservation of it and it had to be catered into there so we've always had it on the third thursday until last year and i know adam smith had that speaker come in but uh i wonder maybe it would be wise to stay that earlier time frame because it kind of interferes with fall harvest it seems like that second week so maybe we get a better attendance so we still got to have to our, our, our officer meeting coming up yet too so okay. uh, researching that so okay all right thanks to call this meeting back to order and Dolores is next good morning Dolores everybody today so far it depends on what you have to tell us i guess oh, that's not too bad so i guess and just have some requests for some things i need to purchase and then a couple of meetings coming up um, my first one is the symposium the cic symposium which every year uh, of course cic is our software provider they put on a a big group of users group meeting and what we do is we get to we get to we all get together and we kind of review any of their new products they may have or ask questions they have workshops on some of their products that we're using to kind of give us tips and hints and upgrades because they're constantly updating their software so sometimes we miss some of that um, and then they actually have a session where through the year we're supposed to submit any issues that we've been having or improvements we would like and then they uh, part of the money that we pay them goes into a pool that we get to use once a year to um, do improvements and enhancements is what they call them and so we each department gets separated out and we go in and we visit about all the enhancements that have been submitted and see if um, everybody's in agreement whether that's a good one or bad one or if it's just a county a specific one and uh, last year they appointed me as a representative for the budgetary accounting part of the program so I kind of need to be there <laughs> and that's going to be on August 9th through the 11th in Wichita um, and then our treasure, State Treasurer's Association has three conferences a year, and there's one coming up in September in Wichita. But, um, well, I think to keep abreast of any changes. Or yeah, they have a, a class. You usually have one day before our conference for classes, um, and I try to get to the classes if I haven't had something on it. Or it's been a while, but they're having a really good one this one this time. So they're doing it on legal issues and bankruptcy. So yeah, I, I, I think you do attend. But yeah, they're they're very just just getting together and visiting with other treasurers and how they do things is a very big value. <clears throat> and then um, I need to order some toners in order to print statements and. The state's site where they we order them from went up a little bit. They're up to 351. Um, I, yesterday we had a gentleman in that had a business down in Hutchison. I guess he's been selling to a lot of schools and counties, and he's at 255. But I need to order three of them, so it's going to be above the 500 limit. So I have the state's pricing and his pricing, and it's going to be anywhere from 765 to about 1050 you can go ahead and do that we raised that limit to 1500 the only thing is anything over 500 you have to have two so two two bids whether they be oral written well, well that's what I mean uh, quotes or something quotes. There you go. well and that's what I'm telling you is I got two different quotes so I'm going so, to yeah, go with probably the I'm, I'm still trying to get a hold of the I didn't, didn't get a visit with the guy from Hutchison, so I'm still trying to get a hold of his company. When I went to his site, I wasn't real impressed, but it's just a family-owned thing, so well, I will call some of the counties. Do, and, uh, you know, <clears throat> do what you need to do. do you, 
whoever you choose, just make sure it's somebody reputable that yeah. they don't leave his hand. Well, I know I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable and confident with the states, but um, he had a whole list of different school districts and counties, that, so I was going to call some of them and see what they, okay. they had to say. Um, and then I need a new desk um, that I soon set my computer on. It, it's, um, it's on its last leg, <laughs> so, so to say. That one is going to have to go to the dump because the, the tray that pulls out for the keyboard has been broken for many years. I just dealt with it. Well, then the back end of the little tray door, drawer fell out earlier this year, and then the file cabinet drawer that pulls out just broke last month so it's like okay there's nothing that works with the top of this desk anymore so i guess it's time card to... tables aren't that expensive card tables oh, i wouldn't have enough room <laughs> i don't have enough room on the desk i have yeah what you need
change our nursing home, it's really going to upgrade it as well. Plus the bathroom, I mean the shower rooms and all of this. And the other thing is that I think is, I want to make you commissioners aware of when people ask it. Unlike other projects that I know has happened, we're working for a guaranteed maximum price. And that's what this is all about, to say this is the maximum amount. Am I saying it right, Brian? Yeah, and on the, I believe it's the 31st, uh, we present that guaranteed maximum price to the county commissioners. So you don't have to lay awake at night wondering about And these about one at a time, and each one of these is like and a different two. category. <laughs> Paper that <laughs> well, that's county Look paper. Well, I uh, have to confess. That's where all that wood Have we got another one of these floating around somewhere? That's it. We can get copies. You yeah. step, when we step in and get one? Well, I'd get one. If there was one here, I'd, I'd get I don't one. think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I messed up and didn't serve myself for the first three right here. Went by. Okay. Yeah. I got, I got something. Oh, I know. Did you hear one? I'm not. No, I can get what's left, yeah. and I, I went over this a lot of times. So, to say I'm knowledgeable about it's an understatement, though. But. I think they're all, they're all. Either one of those are a packet. He's handed it. Yeah, but we're getting short. Are we short one over here? Well, there's five. There should be five. One, two, Maybe three, three four, five. All right. Unless Eddie, mm -hmm. are you take the one, Eddie. Yeah, I started well. to, but here, whoever's short. There's short. I don't know what you're getting here. There you go. I've been wrapping them. Pull your name out of the hat. You're supposed to do this. Well. Yeah. I tried to keep up on all that, but guess what? The numbers kind of got a little thick here towards the very last. <laughs> you're, you're coming in? 16. We'll make sure you get a complete set. So, okay. Yeah, okay. We'll, when you get done, I'll we'll make sure you get them. Okay. Because right now you might not have one. I keep you men busy this evening. Debated on what to print for you guys, and uh, just in case there's questions, uh, sure she gets us in. We'll go over. Okay. I have all these emailed to. Okay. Do you want me to just email them? Earlier, short you know, one we there, tried too. to get local contractors yeah. more involved, but uh, yeah. most of them, when they found out the scope of the work, you know, they just didn't have. Yeah, the, they didn't have the resources yeah. and, and, and power. Yeah. 
because some of it can really keep up with their regular customer base, but we try. We really try. Good folks. And Brian and Andy was having construction. They had all these, they contacted a hundred people to bid and they had to sort through all this stuff to get it down to, uh, to this. So think what they started with. So they did a fine job getting that sorted through. Because some of it wasn't apples to apples, you know, so they had to sort that out. Because that's what's important is the apples to apples in a project like this, and it's difficult. We found that out even on our little sidewalk project. Wow. Are we going through these page by page? <laughs> it's always your pleasure. I mean, what the recommendation is on the cover page and then the details behind it. Um, so if, if you would like, uh, what would you like? To, I mean, this is the summary page, and this is a summary of going through all those documents. Question is, where do all those engines come from? Um, the next, it, w once you uh, accept our recommendation and approve of that, then Hutton will get us uh, the guaranteed maximum price. Isn't that right, Brian? Yeah. I think it's on the 31st is okay. when we're coming up to yep. uh, present the, the guaranteed maximum price okay. to the that's, county commissioner. So we'll be working on those other two. Uh, packages, uh, getting those finalized next week, and, uh, and then, the 31st at 11 o'clock. And then we'll come up and present the, the guaranteed maximum price for the, for the project. Then we talked a little bit yesterday about the timeline, and they're thinking that if, if it's approved on that date, then around the first of August, they're going to be working out there. Yeah. Uh, we're we're planning on. I'm going to call the your abatement contractor today and uh, set up something for next Friday, just a coordination meeting, uh, so we can <clears throat> get with Jeff and uh, everybody and kind of figure out when they're starting and where they're going to, what what all they're going to do. And then we'll probably have our uh, demo guy and mechanical and electrical, somebody there also, and kind of talk about this first phase uh, that we're going to be doing. And just so Jeff and his staff know kind of what we're thinking and if he's if he has any concerns, then we can we can work those out at that time also, uh, so this this thing flows smoothly. Because we're going to be in, working in the existing long-term care here on this first phase. And I might elaborate. Uh, they're going to come up. They're going to move some offices. The way it, uh, the, and there's some as Jeff mentioned. Uh, there's some. Cables that have to be moved have to go on the outside. They're going to encase those and do all of that work prior to getting everything shut off, so they can keep on functioning in the areas that we're going to take down and, and redo and get the asbestos out. Uh, what we tried to do is keep everything out of this from going through hot where we could, and that's the reason we're running the sidewalks ourselves versus running it through them. We just got uh, Travis to do it, and we got bids from him and Brock, and that way we can save a little money there. Same way with the asbestos. They're not allowed to do the asbestos. We, as a group, contacted and did that directed. 
it was budgeted for more we come in under but you know who knows as we if we got more money and continue and do some more work on the assisted living not on the system but in a uh, good Samaritan in that big building then we'll have to, some more but we'll be able to save some money this way we're kind of doing this what I call them baby steps start get that main construction then start on assisted living if we got money left then we can say well there's some money we can maybe do some improvements on the rest of that building so really make a nice facility out of it but we got to just make sure we got the money and the sidewalk he's referring to see they're going to have to take food carts from the kitchen over the south end of that wing and we're running a, a nice wide sidewalk to run that food cart on and Deb Gull has been very nice to work with she said we did it during the fire phase you know back then she's willing to do it because they're looking at the long-term effect and can't wait for it to be done yeah. and uh, so uh, that's the sidewalk and yeah. they were going to do that mm -hmm. this week or next no next I talked week. to him last night and he said he'd get right on it good deal so and uh, so I know he probably do you have any idea kind of an estimated completion date they were looking six Brian months Brian yeah he uh, uh, Roger asked a good question completion date you're tentatively looking at uh. I've got our preliminary schedule. Would have been moving in if we hadn't had the other election. That schedule is unrolling. It's mind-boggling. It's just unbelievable. What are you talking about? I mean, it's all spread. I mean, it's a big sheet, and it's all, you know, it's got a timeline. What day does this start? And that, and uh, all that. Over that first day, we're probably going to have to finish up them in October. Uh, then we'll start on the new construction of the long-term care, that addition, and the assisted living um, in October, and then finish finish up uh, June and July of next next year or so. Or so, that doesn't sound, that's yeah. not what we're looking for, Brian. <laughs> well, I'm surprised to see that. He's talking about June or July or late June, June, July. Uh -huh. yeah. Of next year. Yeah, next well, I know. Yeah. yeah, now, 18. I guess, Brian, when you come on the 31st, if you can, if you can provide it, because the public's going to want to know, and, and if you can get us some little firmer dates, and... Uh, uh, you know, we realize that there's storms and things can happen, but we got to at least inform the public on this. So, uh, get us some good dates. If I remember right, I thought Andy said 14 months. Just yeah. remembering 15, I'd have to look at my notes. 14 to 15 months completion. To, to Everything. From groundbreak to. Yeah. So. So, like I said, this is our preliminary, the one we made way back when. I mean, I'm kind of, you know, originally we were supposed to start in uh, July on the long-term care renovation, but with the asbestos and those kinds of things, we're going to be starting in August, so we're probably... August, September, yeah, we'll probably three months on that one. Yeah. That's okay. Just bring it when you come. That's fine. We don't have to decide today. Uh, we'll, we'll leave that open. But yeah, we're probably looking at nine months on the... Okay. We're going to run those concurrently. The long-term care edition and the assisted living. So okay. Any other questions for Brian? I'm good. Okay. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Yep, thanks, guys. Any questions? Good. You know, we put a lot of trust in this committee and, and building committee, and rightfully so, you're doing your part. And 
all we can really do is trust that you're making the right calls here. <laughs> well, when, uh, yeah, there were nine of us appointed, and uh, it's there have been some hard, hard decisions. It just yeah, there has be. been. There's always going to be. It's not been easy. But, uh, I got a big tree in my front yard. I'll give it to you if that'll help you on the lumber side of it. <laughs> <laughs> is that uh, delivered? <laughs> it's it's something along that line that I felt was very interested on Fowler Construction and the local people doing that. That that was one of the issues he brought up. That that he not only was a little bitter, but he was going to buy his, all of his lumber through Heritage, uh, which uh, like we talked about before, possibly we wouldn't get many local contractors and it wouldn't be much. And it looks like the way it's set today, not you know for sure, but it looked like the concrete, the, a lot of that lumber and stuff will, on the. Because on something this size, you know, they could order in a semi load of dimension lumber, well, sure. and sheeting, and you know, so we're trying. Well, with limited resources that we have, I, I think they've done amazingly well to come up with these bids in the first place. Two things I think if we hadn't had an architect from western Nebraska that was used to fighting not getting contractors, and we hadn't had a contractor from western Kansas. They're used to this not having that. You know, if you was in eastern Kansas, 10 bids, everybody wanting work, and out here, yeah. it's a whole different ball. Well, like I said, it's just too vast of a project for mm -hmm. construction people in this area. You, uh, I think, John, she might not have got him. Okay. Why don't you run her off complete set, and that way she won't have to sort through that. If you want to just no. email them. Or would that be better? Okay, that'd be some work at the school okay. saying, okay. big projects in Goodland and, you know, in the area, and so, uh, So on the 31st, what, uh, what can we expect? Yeah. Well, they'll bring a, a max, a guaranteed maximum price sheet. They can be over this amount, and we need you to sign that, and, uh, And we're off and running. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm right. sorry, I missed that. But if you say Hutton can't proceed to their guaranteed maximum price without having those signed bids right. approval from the commissioner, right? Is that what you? I didn't hear what he said. Yeah. Okay. That's, Thank you. Yeah. Well, you all that is an agreement that we agreed to do this, but you got to guarantee you won't go over these amounts. It's a two-way contract. That's important. <laughs> but I think we need before they'll get a guarantee, we have to have these guys commit to this price. Yeah. So, if you want to, I don't know if you want to do that today or. Well, they need him. Hutton needs him. Yeah, I know. So they can move forward. Right. And it's 26 minutes before uh, lunch. How long, how long does it take you to sign that, man? Well, let's look. <laughs> Yeah, you just signed this page right here and be three of I'm just trying it. to figure oh, okay. out if we could divide these up between the three of us. <laughs> gotcha. Sound like a plan to me. Roger always gets shorted, so I want to make sure he gets plenty. <laughs> <laughs> My ink pen lasts a lot longer than his. <laughs> We probably need a motion to buy, to sign these. <coughs> we probably should. Uh, to, accept. to accept these bids. To accept these bids. Yeah, as presented. I so move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All Thank those you opposed? very much. Same sign. Now we can sign. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you keep things lined up here. This is a cover sheet then? Yeah, just a cover sheet 14th. there. 14th, yes. Where's the owner? Yeah, mm -hmm. the county. County will be the owner. And John May could be the win. Is there anything we need to be here for?
Concrete. Concrete. Okay. Flooring. Flooring. Site utilities. Site. Storefront glass. Earthwork and grading. Roofing systems. Installation. And the city told us just that liability yeah. okay. was thirteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Waterproofing. I didn't know whether you were in that or not. ALF oh see to uh, uh, ALF wood floor framing. Okay. Masonry. Okay. Steel materials. LTC wood framing. Okay. Millwork materials. Yep. Doors, frames, and hardware. Electrical systems. Mechanical and plumbing. Fire protection. Building accessories material. Okay. Painting. Right. And these were just some that floated around on the table. We don't know what they I got are. one left. Drywall and acoustical. What's this? Drywall and acoustical. You got okay. it. Okay, I think we got them all. <laughs> Excellent. Alrighty. Get these to stop. Can we be excused? Yeah, yes, sir. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of your door. Get out of here for the throw, yeah. Thank you, man. Thank and you. Leslie. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll see you on the 31st. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. We just need one more thing. I so move we adjourn. I second. See you one. What's a one?